Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll take you through how to prepare a design project for Behance or Dribble. And this video is based off of a recent project that I published on Behance called Mutualism version 2 uh, Finance Dashboard. So going back to the project in Adobe XD, I've already have my design set up. And for publishing my projects on Behance or Dribble, I like using mock-up devices. So this is an iPad Pro mock-up. You can get similar devices uh, using a tool called Rotator. You can visit rotator.app. So this basically gives you smartphone and desktop devices that you can use in your designs. Or you can simply download mock-up devices from sites such as XD Guru. Yeah, and so on. And once you have that device, uh, next step would be exporting uh, all your designs. So in a recent video that I published, I show you how you can export all these designs in high resolution using the simple but handy export uh, plugin. So I'm going to export each artboard at a scale of 10. Then I'll just put this on my desktop and export okay so I've got six uh, screens here or artboards that means I'll need sc six screens for my uh, tablet so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this and repeat grid Just ungroup everything. And then for each screen that I have exported, I will paste onto uh, the mockup device here. I'll first select this section and I've got that pasted there and then I can do the same for the rest of the screens. Okay, and once that is done, I'll go ahead and create another artboard and this will be 4180 by 4180 okay let me go ahead and get the logo So this artboard that I just created here, this will be the first uh, image on the Behance project. Let me increase the scale there. And this is a SVG image. I like using the squares just to properly align my stuff. Okay, so I'll have the logo there. You can go ahead and disable that. Then what I'll do is get this screen and I'll just rotate it right in the center. Maybe something uh, just like that and just reduce the scale a bit okay and then get the next screen and then just decrease the size of that as well OK, 
Okay. And then I'll, not, I'll need another screen here at the bottom. Let me just move this to the right. Oops. Okay, then I can bring in this bottom screen. I just rotate that as well. Okay. Okay, that looks aligned. And then one last screen. That will come the bottom left here. Okay, there we go. Then I can just move this up a bit. Okay, that should be fine. And basically this would be the main screen of my design project. And then for the next uh, artboard would just be an overview of each screen. So I'd probably have, uh, so here I've got six uh, screens that I'd like to highlight. So I'd, that would mean uh, six artboards that would highlight each and every screen individually. So typically, I would have the screen name here. So let's say account dashboard. And then I'd have a description underneath that. Easy to use platform that always keeps you on top of your repayment schedule. Okay. And the font I'm using here is Roboto. Just make that medium. There's probably, I think that is fine. Or maybe medium as well. No. Uh, the, light theme, the light font is fine. Okay. So I'll just make that bold as well, or medium rather, sorry. And then let's maybe add some gradient as well to our artboard here. Okay. We'll add a linear gradient from the top left corner to the bottom right. And the color code I used for this uh, specific design is this here. So I'll just paste that in. Okay, and then the top uh, left will just be white. Okay. So it's just a subtle gradient, nothing too much. Okay. And then I'll apply the same gradient uh, to the bottom artboard. So maybe let me just copy this artboard. And I can just remove everything and paste what I've got here. Okay. So 
So as you scroll on the Behance project, this will be the main screen and then you'd scroll and then the next page. So I'm trying to uh, illustrate the same uh, layout that you'd have on Behance by use bringing this artboard below it instead of uh, next to it. Where I usually play around with my designs is the layout here. So I'll use different devices uh, depending on the project uh, for the main screen. But most of the time the other screens or the other images would just be illustrating the app features and so on. For the account dashboard, uh, we'll start off with this light version. Now just have it there in the center. Can increase the size a bit. Okay. And then of course I'll need uh, the colors. So the first one is white. Okay, let me just resize these. And then for the uh, dark screen or the darker screens, let me just go ahead and copy and paste. For the darker screens, I'll use the same uh, layout. I'll just change the uh, display here and the background color. So for this linear gradient, I would want the bottom color to be black. And then the white I'll change to this shade of blue or shade of black rather. And then the text would be white. Okay. Then this screen will be replaced by this one here. Let me just go ahead and resize this so that it matches the size there. Oops. Let me just do this. Okay. Then we can remove that one. There we go. You just get the exact position. Yep. And that's pretty much it. And then I would export these and merge them to one file and then that would be what goes on to the uh, project on Behance. Or you can upload each uh, artboard individually as a separate image and that's what I would have on my Behance uh, project or portfolio projects.